We face some huge audacious goals as a planet that we need to solve if we're not going to wipe ourselves out on the planet that we live in. So that calls for completely radical methods. I am very passionate about the future for the internet as is moving towards a way that we can trust each other and transact peer to peer rather than through centralized systems. Yeah, collaborative teams, gonna save the day. <laughs> Knowing more about where products come from is really important to business. Opaque supply chains present a huge risk to companies. There could be slavery in their supply chain, there could be huge environmental damage, but yet just because that information is one or two tiers removed from your core operations doesn't mean it isn't absolutely integral to your business. Provenance is a software company set up to help businesses that make and sell products to share information about the people, places and materials that create those products. So we help make supply chains transparent. The desire for our technology is being fundamentally driven by brands and retailers who want to be sure when they make marketing claims that relate to provenance. And one of the most exciting technologies we're working with is blockchain technology. Essentially what the blockchain presents is a new paradigm for the internet, so a new way for us to access and trust data communicated through the web. Um, it's getting a lot of hype around it, but essentially what it is is a fancy database. But what's super cool about it is that you can um, communicate information peer-to-peer -peer and know that you can trust it. Um, unlike today through the internet where you need a third party in order to broker all of our information. There are plenty of people that have looked at the software system and said we can apply this in order to be able to understand more about where products come from. What Provenance is trying to do is slightly different. We're trying to handle that in a method that's firstly open in order for consumers to be able to understand this information too. Um, but also we're trying to take an approach where um, the information isn't owned and controlled by one large governing body but is in fact shared um, between several cooperating parties, which we think forms a foundation for supply chain transparency that, that can transcend uh, one organization or one collective effort. If a technology like blockchain um, takes off and radical transparency becomes the norm, particularly in supply chains and with businesses, I think we will be really moving towards a, a fantastic new kind of phase for sustainability, which I'm personally very excited about. I think the big winners will be businesses that embrace responsible supply chains and transparency from the get-go, rather than having it be a, a crazy, nasty afterthought, which means being proactive in finding out where your products come from and making an effort to uh, use technology in order to um, understand and mitigate those risks now rather than wait. Yeah, we're seeing businesses being very proactive on this front already, so I'm optimistic. I guess I like to talk about myself as a hybrid, mainly because I feel like um, mainly my education, but also in work, I never really fitted in particularly well to one discipline. Coming from an engineering background, you quite quickly get pigeonholed into being a developer or working in, in software products. I guess it's taken me to become an entrepreneur in order to be able to span both design and business and creativity as well as um, coding and, and building software. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I think having a confluence of the two and mixing disciplines is, is really important to solving some of these huge challenges. What's exciting for me is seeing just quite how much of an amazing role data and, and shared data and collaboration could play in the future of sustainability and how much that hasn't been tapped into yet. One thing I'm really excited about though is, is then as data exponentially increases and we start to use technologies like blockchain in order to be able to trust data, for me that could be an amazing catalyst in cross-border collaboration on trying to achieve um, the kind of impossible, what seems like impossible goals of, of reversing something like climate change. I feel like it's amazing when you get a small group of people that all care about a problem together to try and tackle it. It's kind of amazing the damage and dent you can do, <laughs> even just with yeah, some, some software engineers and some spare time. It's kind of amazing. I think we've got a long way to go and I think we're right at the foothills of a humongous mountain, but I think we're having the audacity to say that these problems can be solved in a different way. Um, and yeah, it's causing some noise. You have to be excited by your limitations if you're a startup because you're broke <laughs> and all you've really got to do is to use the small amount of cash you have in order to create the maximum impact and make something that can grow and, and work with its own network effect. So it's, it's an exciting challenge, but you, you do feel like you're making the parachute as you're falling out of the plane, pretty much. So, fingers crossed I make it in time. <laughs>